Hello, Tony Vera, the Venezuel. Naomi Nightingale talks about the history of the first Baptist church in Venice, one of the oldest churches, over 100 years old, and the city council's vote. Interesting uh, interview. Hope you enjoy it. Naomi Nightingale, an amazing woman. And uh, Mike Bonham, the councilman, actually helped with this. Now they can't touch it. And I found out a lot about Venice through this whole Baptist church, the KKK were alive and running back then. Very interesting. So I hope you enjoyed the video. This is the Venice Owl. And uh, this is amazing. Very interesting. And I want to thank uh, Naomi Nightingale for taking her time to explain the history of this church. I found it very educational myself. So here we go, folks. Sit back and enjoy. As I always say, here's the video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, the KKK you were saying? Yeah, they were around in this area. They were in um, Culver City, Mar Vista area. That's amazing. What yeah, you one of the uh, police officers was actually the uh, uh, the drag dragon or the head yeah. of the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, so. You know, when when um, when African American people moved into the Venice area, it was late 1800s. It was only like 40 years after the Emancipation Proclamation. Okay. So you know, that's what they say freed the slaves. You know, in 1893. So a few years later, 1900s. I mean, how many years is that? Then. Uh, uh, Arthur Reese and Irving Tabor came and settled Venice right here on this street. Yes. And uh, so it was racist. And you know that Venice was a restricted covenant area. That means that this was the only place where blacks could live. We couldn't live in any other part of Venice. So this 1.1 square mile area is where African Americans settled. It's where people came to live. This was marshland, swamp land, and uh, we made it a community. We bought it for services. Our our parents and grandparents uh, made it a thriving community. But we couldn't live east of Lincoln Boulevard, and we couldn't live east of, I mean, uh, south of Venice Boulevard or north of Rose Avenue because we were people of color. Wow. And so it was a red line district. You couldn't buy outside of this community. You couldn't live outside of this community. And so Venice was, um, was built by African Americans because we had to depend on each other. Yeah. We had to, and people that came from the South were used to doing that. We're used to living like that, you know, because Growing up in the South, you depended on each other. You know, you had uh, families that lived together, that uh, built lives together. And uh, the reason we have so many people in Venice that are from Arkansas is because uh, Reverend Holmes, he came from Arkansas. He did? Yes, he did. And uh, he was pastor of this church for over 40 some years. That's unbelievable. Yeah. he, he uh, he died in 1999, mm. but when he came here to be pastor, a whole bunch of other people from Arkansas followed him. Okay. And, uh, and then cousins and aunts and uncles and other family members also came here. So that's why you have so many people here from Arkansas. And this but, picture was taken where? Oh, you know, this area back here used to be a lot of open land and oil fields and so forth. So okay. I don't know exactly where this but picture that's was taken. Right? Yeah, it's it's in the Venice Center, um, Mar Vista, Culver City Scary. area. And uh, this gentleman right here, who is Arthur Reese, uh, he was one of the uh, fine <coughs> founding pioneers of the Venice community. He, he actually 
provided the funds for the church that was across the street. It's not there anymore. Yeah. But the second of the First Baptist churches was across the street there. And Arthur Reese is the one who donated the land. Okay. He owns the land. It was his, huh? <laughs> and, uh, and then the congregation, which outgrew that church, bought the land here, which used to be a boat yard. And so... <clears throat> And then they built this church. So this picture right here, this picture right here is showing uh, Bishop Holmes coming out of the church that was across the street with all of his congregation coming with him, coming through New church. those doors right there. Wow. I, I love this picture right here. It's a great picture. Yeah, I love this picture. Okay. Absolutely. So, and, and this is Irving yeah. Tabor. Irving Tabor is the cousin of Arthur Reese. And these are the two men that helped settle uh, this area and, and bringing their families here. And the guy with the two ladies? I, I don't know who this is. I think he's a relative of of um, of Jatan. Okay. But I'm not sure of his name. Yeah. And this is what the old ch the church before looked like. Oh, the old one, right? Yeah, across the street. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah. So that church is actually still existing. It was sold to a church in Los Angeles. Okay. It's on around uh, around 107th, I think, in Main Street. Oh yeah, that's that's still here, right? Yeah. That's now it. this church right here is this was a an old barn. It was the first of the First Baptist churches. It was actually on San Juan and Fourth. San Juan and Fourth. Mm -hmm, down the street, and from there they moved to here after they built the church that was there. This church that was there was built in 1927. Okay, 27. Yeah, yeah 1927. So, yeah, all of that history. And so today, the um, the LA City Council, after four years, uh, we started in 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, and now 21, 2021. Um, the Los Angeles City Council unanimously voted to approve First Baptist Church of Venice as a historic landmark, meaning that they can't change the structure of it. They can't change um, any any outside of the, the edifice of it. And the, they also initially wanted to just have the, the church as the cultural historic monument, but we insisted that they include the land also. Okay. Because the, it was just crazy for them to even think about separating the church from the land but of course that was the developer that wanted to do that the owner that wanted to do that because he wanted the option or the possibility of doing whatever he wanted with the land which means that the church would have just been sitting here but the lots in back of the church oh we can still build on that yeah and then the lots across the street here there are uh, three lots over there Okay. And that would have given him the ability to do whatever he wanted with those lots. But we insisted that the land was owned by the people, the African American people in this community. And we had people in the congregation that were giving uh, their deeds as collateral in order to build this church. And they bought the land, and if, without the land, there would not have been a church. Yeah. So it's inconceivable why you would even think that you could separate the two. But that was part of the original proposal, and we said no. If that's what you're thinking about, that's what you're going to do, we'll back away from all of it, and we'll start all over. But the, the uh, Cultural uh, Historic Committee, Cultural Heritage Committee, agreed with us, and included the land with the church. So what about the, uh, the owner that owns it now? Okay, there's someone who owns it now, um, a limited liability corporation. They own it, but they can't do anything with it without us. Uh, and uh, we can't do anything with it without them. Yeah. So at some point we're going to have to sit down and talk about how we move forward with making this a church of the community. So he might sell it back, you think? 
Well, we're hoping. We're hoping. It's six million. I heard it was six million, right? You paid well, for it. it well, yeah, I think that's what he paid for. But but there was money owed on the church because the former pastor took out loans on the church. Okay. Took out about six million dollars worth of loans on the church. So um, I'm not quite sure what the new owner paid for it. Okay. But. Um, I'm sure that whatever it is, it'll probably be more. But, you know, we're thinking that uh, it's, it's possible that he might be uh, magnanimous and make a contribution to the community. Hello? Wow.